look. Or when I'm at the gas station, this you can subscribe for free with a uh, Twitch Prime. Sorry, my brain stopped working when I saw this girl. What is this? What she thinks. What matters is what you think. Fuck. You think I'm doing, bro? New Year. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? How's it going? And if you're coming back, what's up? How's it going? Really good to see you again. I have dude, uh, Curtis Connor says your fing heartthrob, dude. Unacceptable. We're banning him from this channel. We're no longer watching his videos. Completely unacceptably attractive man. I, I am threatened by him. I don't like it. Happy New Year. See what happens when you subscribe to my channel? You get an extra greeting at the beginning of every single one of my videos. So press that subscribe button for an extra greeting, please. Folks. It's 20. 21. Let's hope this year is a little better than the last one. Because <laughs> you know the whole thing that happened? They shut down Quibi. No, I think 2021 is going to be really good. I have a good feeling about it. Even though I said the exact same thing Wrong. about 2020 last year. But 2020 is the year, dude. This is the year, okay? I think I'm right this year. Things are going to change. Things are going to be better. And you know what? You can't expect things to change if you yourself don't change your behavior, right? So to inspire all of you to do things differently this year, I'm going to set an example by making a video about TikTok. Oh uh, yeah, I got you. <laughs> I'm not changing at all. All year. This is what, this is what I'm wearing all year. <laughs> Over the years, I've made several videos about dudes that just suck. You know, whether they're pickup artists, dating coaches, convention organizers, or all of those at the same time, I feel like there's a new weird misogynistic dude that pops up every single day. Which brings us to the topic of today's video, a little duo called Fresh and Fit. These guys are truly something else. Someone said, wait, where is it? Someone said, this dude is palatable punk. I love that else so i thought today we take a look through their content maybe goof on them a bit and hey maybe we'll even learn a thing or two about wait, is how this to the gun one women like garbage oh, so fresh yeah. and fit is wait is fresh and fit the one where like everybody has guns and dj academics got pulled up on is that what <gasps> oh That's the name of this duo there are these two guys named myron and ceo lifestyle I couldn't find that guy's real name. Well, I mean, maybe that is his real name. <laughs> I, I don't know. That would be pretty cool. Hey, have you met my new baby boy? No. What's his name? Uh, his name's CEO Lifestyle. What the fuck? Ah. Hey, you know what they say. What? Name your baby for the job you want, not the job you have. No one's ever <laughs> said that. Ah. Uh. So these guys make videos on YouTube on how to get girls and how to get muscles. You know, the typical alpha male bullshit that I'm sure you've seen before. But I actually found out about them a few weeks ago on TikTok. Um, and as soon as I saw their videos, I went through and like saved a bunch of them because you just, you never know what's gonna happen. A few weeks go by, I go to find their account, it's gone. The account's gone, I can't find it. So the first thing I thought of, I was like, damn, we got another Russell Hartley situation here. They freaking threw me that block so I wouldn't make a video about them. Also, Russell Hartley still hasn't unblocked me yet, which I'm pretty upset about. So Russell, if you're watching, please, please unblock me. What did I do? But anyways, turns out I was wrong. I actually couldn't find the fresh and fit TikTok account because they were actually banned from TikTok which is pretty gnarly. I feel like I feel like that's really hard to do, right? There could literally be a video on TikTok of a guy like setting his balls on fire and the people at TikTok would be like, you know what? That's fine. Put on people's FYPs, dude. Those are some spicy meatballs. So I feel like you gotta be a whole other kind of shitty to get banned from TikTok. But luckily, Fresh and Fit is in fact a whole other kind of shitty. So let's take a look at their TikToks and uh, see why they got banned. When a girl tells you, hey, let's rain check or reschedule, you simply respond, hey, that's cool, but I'm not really a fan of flaky girls. If we go out, you're going to pay for drinks or dinner or whatever plan you guys had. Because the reality is this, with women, when they give you undesirable behavior, you need to punish it immediately so she knows it's not acceptable. Don't reinforce bad behavior with positive treatment, okay? Bro, these dudes straight up think women are dogs, okay? That's a straight up, like, what are you, Caesar Milan, dude? What kind of, I mean, you shouldn't even do that with your dog, for the record. Like, that's still got bad dog trainer. That's crazy. <laughs> Grab the water spray bottle. Fellas, I want these bitches to act right. Grab a water bottle. And every time they try to get on the couch, spray them with the water bottle. That's right, dude. Okay. He's literally talking about like what you do with a dog that pisses on your carpet. Don't reinforce bad behavior with positive 
treatment. I don't know why these like self-described alpha males compare everything to like the animal kingdom or just straight up refer to girls as animals. Like Russell Hartley did it with horses and now this guy's doing it with dogs. What? Well, he's not doing it with dogs, but you know what I'm trying to say? Well, I mean, I know why they do that. Because they don't see women as like human beings. So they just dehumanize them in every way possible to feel better about themselves. But still, it's weird, man. Like this sounds like if like Caesar Milan started like giving dating advice. So you just had a great date with a girl. You get back to your apartment. Things are getting pretty steamy. You go into the bedroom. She gets on the bed. I can't watch him. I can't watch him. He's better looking than me and we have the same exact takes. We can't do this. It's not, it's not working. I can't. I can't watch him. At least I don't do the zoomer edits though. That's why I'm more palatable to an older audience. I'm kidding. I do love Curtis. I think he's great. Here's what you say. No, no, bad dog. Oh, Caesar Milan. I hardly know her Milan. Still got it. Also, the other thing I don't like about this video is like, th that's just a weird response to someone canceling their date or even trying to reschedule their Lovely. date. That's cool, but I'm not really a fan of flaky girls. Like shit comes up, you know? Like what if her grandmother just died? Hey, sorry, I'm, I'm gonna have to cancel tonight. My, my grandmother just died. <laughs> um, okay, sorry, bitch. What? You're gonna have to pay next time then. All right, I don't like flaky girls. <laughs> sorry, what? Tell it to the judge, that's not my problem. Okay, super mean, what the- Look, dog, I killed your grandma. You don't see me canceling our plans about it. What did you just say? Huh? I said, what'd you say? You just said you killed Nothing. my grandma? I said... What the f*** are you talking about? Say that again. What did uh, you just say? <laughs> Close one. <laughs> well, after that video, you're probably thinking to yourself, wow, they probably can't get any worse than that, right? Ah, yeah, you're wrong. All right, Nick is not green. He used to be his editor, and there's so much cost over here. Yeah, Nick is in here uh, as well a lot. He's cool, too. I told you guys, I like all of these uh, new crop. I mean, I guess they... I don't even know if Curtis Connor is like a new crop uh, essay guy, but all the essay guys that are popping now, they're all f***ing sick. And they used to be all neck bearded pieces of shit and are misogynistic and, and just like terrible. You know what I mean? And now they're all dope and they're all Hasanabi heads, which is cool. I know Curtis, Danny and Drew have been around for Vine uh, two, three years. They were on Vine before they've been around for two, three years. But like now they're like the, at the top of the essay guys. I know, I know Cody and Noel were also like Vine people that moved to YouTube. As flex. But remember, guys that used to do cultural critique were all like the Sargon of Akkads and shit, okay? Please tell me more about people that I've known for literally almost a decade, like Cody and Noel. Polgies. All right, guys, this is why you should never be vulnerable to your girl. Quite frankly, women aren't equipped to deal with the problems that men deal with. Women live in a different world than we do, guys. So Bro, is this dude Middle Eastern, by the way? He's got real, he's got real Middle Eastern energy. He's just a tan white guy. 100% North That's African. Okay. Bro, literally like everyone serious. in the chat, some were like, no, you know, bro, 100% East African, bro. 100% North African, bro. 100% West African, bro. Okay, why not South African too? They're just, he, he's from the entire continent. Instead of complaining about your problems. There's no shot this dude is just tan. Someone also said, nah, he's just tan. He's just a just tan white guy. 0% chance he is a just tan white guy. The girl complain to other men that know the same struggles that you're dealing with because men can help other men with their problems. I hate to say it, guys, but when you cry to your girl, she's going to think you're soft and she's not equipped to help you. Only confide in your male friends that you trust, not your what? girl. Abby, did I miss Master Chief at Hassan Abbey? Did I miss Master Chief at Hassan Abbey? Did I miss Master Chief has said, Dude, I'm Hussez, 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 convinced Hussez, Hussez. these videos are taking literal years off of my life. I'm going to miss my great grandson's bagpipe recital because I'll be f dead. And then little Curtis Connor the third will have to play bagpipes at my funeral. The blood is on your hands, fresh and fit. It's totally okay to talk to your girlfriend about like your, about your feelings, right? About it's like the best part about having a partner. You know, they help you, you help them. It's a relationship. I, it's crazy that I have to explain this. Complain to other men that know the same struggles that you're dealing with. Dude, it's so hard. The struggles I face, <laughs> just- Yo, I hate to say this, cause you know, people will say this is problematic, but I do sometimes feel like, oh, maybe that gay dude was right. Maybe this dude is just, you know, he just hates women and he's gay. You know what I mean? Like, fellas, don't ever fuck your girlfriend, okay? What, what are you doing? You're, you're fucking a woman? What the fuck? There's nothing more manly 
than f your homies in the ass and getting f by them and suck your homies. Why are you wasting time around women? Okay, what is this shit? What are you gonna talk about? Shopping? What the f fellas? Let's go. Being a guy, f man. I could go all day. I won't. Because I, I can't. But I could. If I could. You know? Dude, I can't get over that. Never be vulnerable. That's a f nightmare, dude. Because if you're if you're bottling up all your emotions until you get to see your buddies, I feel like you're going to be quite the downer whenever you see them, right? Bye, honey. Have a good time with your friends tonight. I'll see you later. Goodbye. Hey, buddy. What's all up, right. man? Yeah. Turn the game on, man. Let's go. Oh, Party time. Yeah. Oh man, can we not do this again? God damn it. Every f time. I'm sorry. I can't be vulnerable with her. She's a girl. She has cooties. Okay, well, what's wrong? Talk to us. Everything. Business. Sports. Business. Yeah, you said that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I forgot my... Is everything all right? Yes. Like he's acting like these videos like help men, but telling guys that it's like weak to cry to your girlfriend does the exact opposite, man. It's obviously okay to cry. Like what the f are you talking about? The Cure was singing about this shit in the 70s, dude. Why are we still having this issue? I also don't know where he's walking in any of these videos, but I hope it's to like a, a therapist's office, cause whoa. You got some stuff to figure out. Who cheats more, men or women? A guy cheats when he has sex with a girl. A woman cheats when she has sex with a man. And if she's looking for free attention from random men. Yes, I said it. If your girl's on Instagram or any social media platforms showing her butt or her body off, what she's doing guys is she's advertising herself to other men. Bro, this dude is the most insecure man on the planet. And the problem is, like, there's a lot of people exactly like him who operate in the exact same way, who feel the exact same way. So they're like, oh, no, this is the same guy as me, but with more followers. So he must, you know, we must be doing the right thing. We must all be have, you know, we must all have the alpha mindset. We know what's going on. And he's just like creating a never ending uh, spiral. Okay. Down into further and further idiotic uh, conversations around how you will be an alpha male by constantly not trusting women. I've seen a lot of these dudes, man. I, I, there was that meme about the, it was on black Twitter. The, the dude with the uh, dreads was like every single one of his videos was like, yo, these bitches, like every single video starts with like him just being like, don't you hate it when women. And there was that compilation and it was just like, man, maybe you just, I don't know, try dick for change, you know? Six months, hell like, yeah. Like seriously, just, just try some, I mean, straight up. Just try it. Maybe you won't like it. Maybe you're just like a horrible person. You know what I mean? And it's not that you're just like a misogynist uh, because of like your, I don't know, deep-seated resentment. Try some, dress up. Try some, or, you know, put on some clothes. See how it makes you feel wearing some feminine clothes. Maybe you feel really pretty, okay? Maybe you feel really, really pretty, okay? And it feels just right, okay? Right. There's no shame in that. You should not feel bad about that at all, okay? You know, before you know it, maybe you're on HRT. Maybe the reason why you resented women was because you were one the entire time. You were afraid of that truth. I don't know, okay? I'm just saying. Now, this isn't to imply that, like, obviously gay uh, people or trans women are inherently misogynistic or anything like that, but it does... Because I also uh, qualified that like he could just be a douchebag. You know what I mean? Hassle. Or he could just have repressed anger. Women want attention, okay? That is what they crave. They want that more than sex. So if your girl's on social media showing off the goods to random men, she's cheating on you. Don't be stupid. Bro, what are you talking about? Iron more like moron. Yes, I said it. Yeah, yeah, I said it. I said it. Holy shit, dude. Like, God forbid a girl wants to post a photo of herself. Holy fuck. You actually have to have like a turd for brains to- Bro, I love this guy who's defending his honor. Defending the fresh and fit guy's honor. He's not a hypocrite. He's advertising to men, not women. I love you. Chatter, you're my favorite. Think that's cheating? Swear to God, if you put a Q-tip in that guy's ear, who would be on it? 
Be straight up. Be straight up. Poo on it. <laughs> okay. Bye, Myron. I have to go. I have my. Uh, I have my X-ray appointment. I'll. I'll see you later. Okay. <laughs> and uh, how long has this been going on? <laughs> what do you mean? You're gonna go show your bones to some doctor? <laughs> That's cheating on me. You're cheating on me. That's adultery. What? No, it's not. I haven't even seen your bones. And we've been dating for years. I just can't believe you're doing this to me. To us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why do your tears smell like that? Because there's poop in my head. All right, let's watch another one. How to get a girl to chase. Guys, open up your iPhone and leave read receipts on. You need these women to know that you looked at the message and you're just not going to respond. Especially if she says something stupid. Let her question is what she did wrong and let the hamster wheel work for you. Don't be I stupid. Dude, this guy is insane. I also love that he says the most stupid again. things you could I'm ever say in a video and then ends the, the video sucks. by saying, don't sorry, be man. stupid. Guys, you should never wash your socks. You are such a dickhead, dude. That take is not okay and extremely harmful. Telling misogynistic men that they're trans is just as bad as running the top of the hour ad break. Okay. You actually got me on that. I literally thought that you were going to... I read it. I read it in, with my inside voice. You asshole. Okay? Why do you guys do that? Sometimes you really push you it too don't. far. Okay? But you definitely are pushing boundaries with that one. Not an okay debate. Because I thought I actually said something f***ed up. Anyway, Ewig01, thank you for the gift of subs. Ewig, thank you for the gift of subs. This way, uh, Ewig will allow our people to no longer see those ads. Okay? Um... Same with Sexy Panda Bear. And uh, if you're not lucky enough, then all you need to do is subscribe for $5 yourself or... Look. look. Or... When I'm at the gas station, You can subscribe for free with a, a Twitch Prime. Sorry, my brain stopped working when I saw this girl. What is this? Hey, yo, Alleypuff5. Thank you for the five. Get the subs. Look. When I'm at the gas station, this ain't no Christian mingle. This ain't farmers only. That this ain't no dating time. I'm in and out. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't try to try to get a good no good a good snack. Number one fear of men: rejection. And you're going to Yo. make a video making fun of him for trying his best to show interest in you. Okay, right. I got to go. Okay. Who is this girl? I think I found Christ. I believe that the great replacement is happening, and we need to put an end to it. Also. All jokes aside, who the f is Greg Duchette? Is this, is he like actually joking or what's the deal? Like, is he just making jokes or is he unironically the way that he is right now? You, this is like literally my spink sees me at my worst. I need freaking subtitles to understand this woman. And you have the audacity to act like this is Christian mingle. This ain't no Christian mingle. This ain't farmers only. Christian mingle, dairy farmers. So you're single and you wonder why. Because you keep rejecting every decent person to try to talk to you. What? Bro, this dude's a psycho. What the f***? What's wrong with him? Is this a troll? Or is he serious? What is happening with this guy? Also, how's this mother on the on the juice and his voice is still like prepubescent? What happened? His voice sounds like a cartoon character, bro. What happened to this guy? Why is he like that? He's got like the body of a of an adult man. He's got the body of a divorced dad that actually did a lot of Anwar, okay? But he actually sounds like a like a cartoon character. Motherfucker's got the Mickey Mouse muscles and the Mickey Mouse voice. Voice shaming? Yeah, I am. When is it okay to talk to you? When you're at the bar drunk, you can't make a coherent sentence? So next time somebody tries to talk to you in the real world, not in the freaking cyberspace, say hello. Look, when I'm at the gas station, Okay, so can someone tell me who this girl is? I just want to see what other kind of good takes she has. Your hair and boobies look amazing today. Screw aren't the you? whole freshman 15. I don't believe in that. I believe thoroughly in the finals 15. If you don't know what it is, then I don't know if you've gone through finals. Let me tell you, I am so stressed. I will eat anything. I can get my hands on and it ain't going here. It, I don't know where it's going. I don't know where it's going, but that scale's going straight up and my grades aren't going up with it. But pray for you, girl, because we out here struggling. I could get so lost in your eyes. So captivating. <laughs> I don't want to be horny anymore. I just want to be happy. One year poggers. Bro, 
why does she straight up sound like a like a like a older auntie i think she's in college but she's i don't know why she just she sounds like she makes a mean apple pie okay like she got the recipe her accent is racially motivated listen nice bathroom we already know you try to ask your white girlfriend to do race play with you so don't act like you saying that absolves you of the fact that that you would be really into, okay? Whatever this is. Yeah, that's right. When you write shit in this chat, I remember, especially shit like that. I'm sorry, Top Spam, but I don't Oh, my know girlfriend won't say the N word while we're in bed Top to me. Um, um, should I break up with her? I said a dumb comment back when you bought a house and just stand to watch you on my main account again. I'm 30 and switching between accounts sucks. I'm sorry, man. At his on app. Okay, cool. Yeah, I do remember. Play the Vin Diesel video for yourself. Sure, Obby. Is there any way to get my unbanned on my main account, D-Pipes? I said a dumb comment back when you bought a house. Yeah, let's go. So apparently I'm a misogynist and I didn't know what it was. We didn't know. We had to look it up. A what? A person who dislikes. Okay, okay. Let's get back to the main story of him, but... Screw the whole freshman 15. Alternate timeline, Linus. Is that guy you talked about? Oh, this, 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 this. Yo, look, I swear to God, y'all ain't messing with a female with an ego. Y'all ain't with a female talking like a freak. Y'all ain't when I'm messing with a female. Y'all ain't when a female get their hair done. Y'all ain't when a female come over and then. Y'all ain't when a female's post relationship go. I ain't when I start talking to a girl. Y'all ain't a girl that want to a female with a terrible ex. Yo, look, I swear to God, y'all ain't messing with a female with an ego. Y'all ain't when a female talking like a freak. Y'all ain't. Bet, bro, it's on site now. Shaking my head, my head. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's on site, dude. Hassan says he remembers, but he can't remember the top of the ad break. Bro, I literally ran it. What do you want from me? I literally ran the ad break. You want me to run another one? I can't even run another one. It's only been seven minutes. TikTok makes lol cows. Um, yeah, that's true. For sure. The difference between TikTok and like other forms of entertainment, though, is that TikTok makes lol cows until they reach such massive audiences that it doesn't even matter. You're the lol cow for even thinking you can make fun of this dude at that point. You know what I mean? What the f Why am I trending? Bro, come on, dude. What happened now? What happened now? What happened now? Oh, it's not bad. 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 It's actually good. It's for it's because of banter, probably. Wait, hold up. Because if you wash your socks, then you'll then you then that means they're dirty. So if you don't wash them, then they aren't dirty. Don't be stupid. This is also just like textbook manipulation, right? Yo, you let her think she did something stupid and wrong, even if she didn't, because the best way to get a girl to like you is to fuck with her. <laughs> and in no time, she'll be chasing you on all fours with her tongue out, panting, going, arf, arf, arf. don't be stupid. So you can see why they were banned from TikTok, but luckily they aren't just on did TikTok because what do guys do when they have the worst opinions ever? They start a podcast. And I know I'm not exempt from that. Steampunk is definitely for guys named Gregory. So on their YouTube channel, they posted this video talking about their uh, TikTok ban. When I saw that, I was like, huh, maybe they, maybe they learned something from this. You know, but obviously they didn't. The reason why we went viral is because there's a silent majority that knows what we're saying is true. And then there's an even bigger majority mm -hmm. that wants to silence us for saying the truth. Yeah, I don't think you were banned because you were telling the truth. I feel like it's the, uh, I feel like it's the exact ah. opposite. And look, make no mistake. Let's get back to this video, okay? Let's get back to this video. All right about it guys bro we, we love women. women women bank on the fact that you guys are going to be stupid enough to sit there and actually tolerate a friendship we, we love, love women. women but if you switch it around and i'm a chick and i get a thousand male followers and comments and likes i'm gonna love it because i'm getting validated on my most precious asset my looks we, we love, love women. women women know deep down on an innate level that their looks are their main agency man we, we love, love women. women and this clip is from one of their podcast episodes which is like an hour long and i'll be honest i tried to watch the whole thing i really did but oh my god dude watching that podcast made me feel like i was like the only sober person at a party nothing anybody was saying made any sense and i just wanted to go home and another thing that makes the podcast so hard to watch is the framing dude who is behind the camera? Yao Ming? Why is it so high in the air? You want you want people to take you seriously with that gone? camera angle, dude? I'm a strong masculine man, and you gotta listen to me. Wait, you like the the hey, white guy or the here. black guy? Don't be stupid. Oh. After doing a uh, Marat comes over. He says, Oh, I love these guys. And I I love this guy. I'm like, what you mean Curtis 
Curtis Connor. He goes, no, he loves the fresh and fit boys. A little bit more research about these guys. I stumbled upon probably the best piece of content they've ever made in their YouTube description. Oh, you thought it was someone else? No, never mind. He's just, he just thought it was a different black guy. No. Wow, Murat. You're losing. Now I know why. No, you're, you're losing favor within the community crazy. very quickly. Saved kind of. No, Murat is, Murat is just as bad as me. Okay. He loves all the weird. Fa he, he's worse than me, actually, because he has Facebook still. Has he it. loves all the weird brain rot that I love. He loves monitoring all that shit. Awesome. He's in the best Facebook groups. We love, we love people watching on the internet. Okay. There was a link for a free ebook called Unplugging from the Matrix of Fitness and Game, which just sounded so terrible. So I had to get it. The, uh, the landing page says you've been lied to by the fitness industry, media, and women about what really makes women attracted to you like bees to honey. Another animal reference. Also, shouldn't that say bees to pollen? I mean, I guess I eat it too, but still, it was a weird simile. Like they make honey, they're not attracted to it, right? What really makes women attracted to you? Like a McDonald's employee to a hamburger. What workout methods really work to develop a neck-breaking natural body? Neck-breaking. Look at this natural body. Fatality. Obviously, I had to get my filthy mitts on this thing. But obviously, you don't just download months. it. You got to give your name go? and your email Pass address it. so we can add you to his mailing list. But I didn't want to use my real name in case that, like, you know, sound any alarms. So I came up with the name Women Hater. So if they see that, they'll be like, oh, okay, that's fine. He's one of us. Dude, and the email I got after signing up was so weird. Hey, women. <laughs> I'm proud of you, man. Deciding to become a pimp is not easy. Yeah, you're here with me right now. And no, I don't mean a pimp who hires women and sells them for sex. LOL. <laughs> yeah, sex trafficking, really funny. I mean an alpha male who is jacked, attracting women like bees to honey. Stop it. Some people have called me unethical. A woman hater. Holy shit. I actually didn't realize it said that. Woman hater, that's my name. And even a master at manipulation. But here's the reality. I may have been called all those things because I am all those things, but here's the reality. Most women are secretly begging you to use these tactics on them. That's it for now. Talk soon, pimp. Myron cut through the BS game. Like he wrote that email like your high school bully was trying to convince you that their house party invitation was totally real and not a setup for a prank, you know? Like, hey, hey, buddy. Yeah, you're my good friend, right? You gotta come to my house party tonight. You gotta come, my good friend. I know we poured pig's blood on you at the last house party, but we won't do that, I promise. Women Talk like, soon, Tim. Run? It's pig shit okay. this week. I'm not gonna run. read the entire okay. ebook to you guys, obviously, but I will go over some of my favorite parts because this whole thing is just insane. Now, if it's not obvious, this booklet is definitely not for everyone. It's not for people who are radical feminists, liberals, anti-government, criminals, <laughs> or people who are under the age of 18 and above the age of 60, which is such a genuinely funny way to start a book. Well, not book, this isn't a fucking book, it's a PDF file. But that is so funny, dude. That's gonna, be, that's gonna be my new intro for my YouTube videos. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Unless you're a criminal, a felon, hope you're having f*** off. Day. Do not subscribe to this channel if you can't even subscribe to the law. And that part becomes <laughs> way funnier when you get to the end of the book, where he says, at one time, there was a chance I could be arrested and do federal time in prison and become a felon. So it seems a, a little hypocritical saying that criminals aren't allowed to Eight read your book. Ago. Okay, so the next part of the ebook is really great. It goes into uh, why he devotes his life to being this like, you know, hyper-masculine alpha male type guy. And it honestly reads like a villain origin story. It's very funny. It was June 2008 and we were weeks away from graduating high school. I was sitting in class during a lesson, baby lesson and out of nowhere, a guy named Mike was sitting behind me in class, grabbed my tricep, I think and without a obvious. care in the world. I think it's pretty obvious why he doesn't want criminals reading the book. He doesn't want to teach him how to get away with the crimes just like he did. You know what I mean? Like, he used to be a criminal back in the day, but he's no longer one. He doesn't want to teach the crime doers how to get away with it. Has Told me, wow, dude, you're really skinny. Instantly, the girls in the class bursted out in laughter, laughing at me about how skinny I was. I had never felt less masculine in my entire life. Mike calling me out like that was by far one of the most eye-opening events of my life at the time. <laughs> but I am grateful he did that, because it lit my chair on fire, forcing me to get off my ass and do something for being so skinny. 
Okay, bro, this is the school shooter origin story. Straight up, he wrote like a Wattpad. He wrote like a Parkland Wattpad, bro. What the f Uh, yeah, I'll take things that never happened for 1,000. Nice, I won the game. I know a thing or two about uh, people lying on the internet, but let's entertain the idea that this actually happened. If your masculinity is so fragile that someone grabbing your tricep and calling you skinny Tessic one time golf, turns you into this flexors, weird right. alpha male misogynist. I don't know, man. I feel like there were some underlying issues there before. And he kind of confirms this three pages later. I was about to make the decision to quit and throw in the towel. But then I remembered my father, an alpha male I look up to. Didn't raise no little bitch. <gasps> yeah. Nothing says alpha male like calling your son a little bitch. Maybe that passed down some masculinity issues to you. I don't know. It wasn't just because I felt powerless when I was bullied by other guys. It was also so I could sleep with eights, nines, and tens. So, wait, sorry, let me correct that. Eights, K nines, and tens. And the hypocrisy in this ebook is just off of the charts. He keeps bragging about how many women he slept with and stuff and how he's such a playboy. But let's watch this other TikTok from him. If a girl tells you I'm spiritual or in the thing is, like, he still looks kind of skinny. Like, I know he's jacked under there, but he still is kind of skinny. But also, like, skinny guys can be masculine, too. You don't have to be a big boy to be... You don't have to be a big boy to be masculine. It's like skinny fit. Insists on knowing what your sign is or backpacked across the world by herself. She 1,000% belongs to the streets. That means that she was getting a lot of action, but that's not a chick you want to settle down with, guys. Don't be stupid. So it's okay for, for this guy, you know, to sleep around a bunch, but if a girl does the exact same thing, then she belongs to the streets. Stupid. And also, just from a literary standpoint, it is so poorly written. He uses a term like bees to honey four times. There's spelling mistakes, weird spacing. The whole thing is just a mess. If I was an English teacher, I, I'd actually probably pass you because I, I don't want to teach you again next year. <laughs> this next part, he breaks down this thing <laughs> called the attraction triangle, which is like Maslow's hierarchy of needs for guys who had their triceps grabbed when they were 18. So it goes, so it goes muscle, money, and then game. And you'd think, cause it's a triangle, it'd be like, you know, one, one is more important than the other, right? Like the way the hierarchy of needs works is like you need the basic stuff and then you can like go up, right? You can build off that. But right after it says, although these three pillars are the secret, they're in no particular order of importance. Then why make it a triangle, man? Oh, Maybe instead of making it a triangle, you should try another angle. <laughs> also, this is just wrong. <laughs> when I When I met my girlfriend, who is a beautiful woman, may I add. I had none of these three. I didn't have any of these. That's why this shit makes no sense no, because like they good. generalize women and just being a human in general. Like human beings are complex and our relationships with different people are even more complex. Like everybody wants different things, right? For example, Timothy Chalamet. I think it's safe to say he's not the most like muscly guy, right? So he doesn't have all three of those pillars right but dude people would literally rip their fingernails off just to be in the same room as that guy myself included timmy if you're watching you just say the word buddy Damn. you fucking say the word these are gone so we're getting towards the end of this book now uh he goes into like these testimonials that he provides himself which is a little weird for example he says that his client giuseppe went from 232 pounds to 180 pounds then he lost another 21 pounds now he's down 73 pounds in 12 months and in two years time he's gonna be in the latest adam mckay movie too which is tight i love adam mckay trying to have adam on the show as well by the way for those of you uh who are wondering or maybe not um but we'll see wme is uh potentially going to bring someone from the show onto my Twitch stream i don't know not adam unfortunately but i can probably have him on after it comes out get curtis on the show um isn't he touring i know david sirota co-wrote it Time, you'll weigh only four pounds. <gasps> you'll be a little tiny ladies boy. Hey, it's Giuseppe. Oh, you thought you had to look down at them while you were watching their podcast. You wait till you feast your eyes on a little Giuseppe. Hey, it's Giuseppe. So he ends the book trying to like guilt trip you into buying his like personal coaching program. Because with his program, he's become aesthetic AF. That's a real thing he typed into an ebook. Aesthetic AF. <clears throat> I don't know about you guys, but when I think of something that's aesthetically pleasing, I don't think of a guy named Myron. 
Just me though. But this is something I want to touch on really quick. Guys like this who preach about being an alpha male are just wrong. Like alpha males don't exist. Did you get Cody and Noel on? I haven't really asked Cody. I feel like Cody would come on if I asked him. I've asked Noel to come on my stream in text messages approximately like 40 times in the past month, okay? I literally text him almost daily. Love you, hassy boy. To be fair, he's touring and he's like, you know, doing the stand-up stuff. But my God, if you think I haven't asked him to come on, let me tell you something. I have. You got to do TMG, bro. I would go on their podcast too. I love those guys. I think they're f***ing hilarious, man. Noel hates all of us all, but me specifically. Yeah, I think he said, big hog log. You're the reason why I'll never come on that show. F*** that guy. That's really, I was like, yo, chill. That's kind of f***ed up, bro. I was like, nah, it's not f***ed up. F*** that guy. I hate that guy. I'm just kidding. Please don't take that seriously. I feel like someone's going to be like very upset now. Do not take that seriously. There's an entire Adam ruins everything Thank segment on so this. Much. Tell Noel, Keep you, you want to talk about raising? I, dude, dude, I'm leaking state secrets over here, but he literally told me, I don't think you can, he's like, listen, I, I, with no disrespect, I don't think you can fit in a go-kart. Okay. That was one. And then I was like, dude, I want to go. Okay. I want to go and potentially buy, I want to go and potentially buy like a, a used car or something. Cause my, my Toyota is like on its, not on its last leg, but it, like, I haven't really repaired it appropriately. Cause like Toyotas go forever, but I want to get like potentially like a used car or some shit. And I want to go with him. Myron Tommy, if you neg him, he will come on your stream. Yeah, you're right. I should tell him like, you suck, dude. You're, I hate flaky Death girls. Likes but I'll summarize. So the term alpha male surprisingly came from the animal kingdom. It comes from like alpha wolves, like being the alpha wolf in a pack. But that term was coined by a scientist named L. David Meech when he observed wolves in a national park. But 20 years later, he tried to replicate his original research in the wild and he couldn't do it. Turns out the alpha males were just the parents of the wolf pack. And that took five minutes of research. Geez, fellas, you can look up at your camera during your podcast for an hour, but you can't look up some simple facts don't be stupid i don't know it's just so frustrating like seeing guys like this because they set us back like so much like they prey on like lonely guys with zero confidence and sell them like this really predatory information that doesn't help anybody at all and it's disgusting man it's a gross way to make a living because like masculinity it can be so many different things right wear nail polish man wear a dress knit <laughs> i don't care doesn't make you any less of a man you know it isn't manly though spewing a bunch of bullshit and acting like it's the truth so you can scam people out of their hard-earned money that isn't very manly that's the most beta shit i've ever seen dude you might as well be grabbing your own tricep stupid okay uh let's change the subject completely sponsor time delicious okay. food easy recipes that was a good video they're live right now uh hey guys a woman wants to fly out to meet me and smash she said she'll pay for her own flight and meet me should i let her pay her own flight or should i pay no let her pay like what do you think bro yeah let her pay so we'll talk about that on the zoom call on patreon myron was a fed myron yeah i know they were on lsf today and a girl pulled a gun on him yeah we watched it earlier on live stream fail myron oh. hey if you like this video please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos <laughs>